Good evening. There have been more than a half dozen crashes on the Garson Point Bridge in just the last two weeks, two of them deadly. Well, law enforcement is now re, uh, ramping up enforcement there and ramping up the penalties for reckless driving. Channel 3's Rebecca Castro is live with the latest warning from this, uh, Santa Rosa Sheriff Bob Johnson. Rebecca? This is the traffic we're seeing heading towards the Garcon Point Bridge right now. Since the closure of the Three Mayo Bridge, the number of drivers using Garcon has increased by 500%. And with an increase in reckless driving complaints, that trip across the bridge has become deadly for some drivers. Sheriff Bob Johnson says over 160 reckless driving complaints have been filed against drivers on the Garcon Point Bridge since the Three Mile Bridge has been out of commission. Since February 28th, two people have died in accidents on the bridge. One of those almost killed one of my deputies. That was one of the fatal crashes where the guy was passing in a no passing zone, which by the way, the entire bridge is a no passing zone. Um, he almost hit my deputy head on, missed him barely, and then hit another car and he ended up dying. In a press conference Thursday morning, Sheriff Johnson announced his department will be cracking down hard on these reckless drivers. We're about to start an overtime detail that's going to keep two deputies near the bridge pretty much at all times. Johnson says drivers who attempt to pass on the bridge will be arrested and charged with reckless driving, a second degree misdemeanor. We're going to put you in the Milton Hilton for free and we're going to tow your car. Depending on a judge, drivers could face up to 60 days in jail or a maximum fine of $500. People we spoke to think these are necessary consequences. Frustration envelops and causes accidents and crazy driving. They're just flying. They don't care. It's just so much backed up traffic. And so it just, they need to have one on every end, have one in the middle, do whatever they can to slow that traffic down. Now, Florida Highway Patrol will also be increasing their presence out at the bridge. A troop will, will be assigned to the area during prime commuting hours. Live in Santa Rosa County, I'm Rebecca Castor, Channel 3 News.